Hey everyone, welcome back to Road Reg. So on today's video, we're gonna be talking about engine oil. And I'm gonna try and help you choose the right oil for your M140i. And we're gonna talk a little bit about why oil is so important to making sure your engine is nice and healthy. So let's get straight on with the video. Keeping on top of your oil servicing is the most important thing you can do to keep your engine in tip top condition. The thing is guys, engine oil doesn't just protect the components within the engine, but it also cools them as well. So let's talk a little bit about what these numbers actually mean. So the first number is the viscosity of the oil when it's cold. And the second number is the viscosity of the oil when it's warm. It's really crucial that you choose the right grade of oil for your car. And in this video, I'm gonna help you do that. But before we get into that, I wanna talk a little bit about the BMW E60 V10 M5. And the reason why is that car has a very highly strong V10 engine. And unfortunately, as that car got older, there were problems with the rod bearings failing, okay? Now I have a little theory about why. That car was developed alongside BMW F1 Williams, which, who were competing in F1, and it was very daring what BMW did, but it was awesome. You'd never see that today, but back then there wasn't these rules and regulations, not so much as they are now. But basically, BMW used a 10W60 oil for that car, and that's what they recommend for that engine, which is correct. This is a highly strong, it's essentially a race car engine, guys, but there's a problem with that, okay? And the problem is, is the people who are buying this car, not everyone, obviously, you know, there are lots of people out there who do look after these cars, like, obsessively, but you've got to understand is this engine, the V10, would require warming up, driving really, really carefully until that, war that oil is up to temperature. Now, not everyone has got the time to do that. You buy the car, you get in it and you drive it, right? But the problem is with that, guys, is an engine like that with an oil that thick, I mean, that's double the viscosity right there, okay? You're not gonna be able to drive it fast until that engine oil is up to temperature. And if you do, it's gonna wear out the engine over time. Think about it, right? Your engine is cold in the morning. You're going to work in your V10 M5, right? You've got a 10W, cold viscosity there, it's going to take time for that engine oil to warm up. So I like to use a 5W30 because you've got really nice cold start protection there. So the oil is going to be thin enough at its coldest viscosity that it circulates the engine, but then thick enough when the engine's nice and warm. I believe this is a really, really good all rounder. However, if you have a remapped M140i, whether it's a stage one, stage two, stage two plus, or a crazy 1,000 horsepower build, hybrid turbo, etc., etc. I would recommend either a 5W40 or a 10W40. But if you've just got a standard M140i like me, um, this has not been remapped, this engine, but I do like to en enjoy the car. Uh, this is gonna be perfect all year round. If you're planning on doing any track days, I would definitely recommend going for a 5W40 because when you're blasting around the track, high RPM for long periods of time, you wanna make sure that you've got that viscosity when the engine's running really hot and you're revving that high. So I would definitely, if you're doing a track day, go for five or 10 W40, but for normal sort of use all year round, I recommend five W30. So I like to use Miller's oils for my car, but it doesn't really matter what brand of oil you use, just make sure it's LLO4 approved. That's BMW's oil specification. But I just like Miller's as a brand. I like the fact they're made in England. I like the heritage, the racing background. I actually phoned up them quite recently and had a chat to them about what oil they'd recommend out of their range to use for my M140i. I ended up having a really long chat with one of their engineers and they are all car enthusiasts. They all drive Golf R's, Seat Coopers. The guy I spoke to on the phone actually drives an M140i and they all run this oil in their cars. And this hasn't been out for too long. Miller's oils have been going around for, for donkey's years, but this particular e-performance oil with NanoDrive Ester technology has some race technologies in it. And they've developed this oil with cars like this in mind. These are really, really popular cars. And I guess they just, wanted to uh, cover that segment of the car 
market. You know, hot hatches are a popular thing. You see them every day. And, um, and I thought that was quite cool. So how much oil do you need to put in the B58? Six and a half litres. Simple as that. That's, that's what you need in this engine right here. Six and a half litres of oil. Annoyingly, you have to buy seven litres and then you always have 500 left. And uh, this engine doesn't tend to use, well, it doesn't use any oil at all, not, not in my experience. But, you know, if you have a friend's car, partner's car, parent's car who need a bit of oil, you can just use that 500 to stick in their car. So, yeah, six and a half litres. So BMW service intervals are normally between 15 and 18,000 miles. I think that's way too long. However, I kind of understand why BMW have set these times. And I know there's a lot of people out there who will say, oh, well, I trust, I trust BMW. They, you know, they've told me that I can change my oil every between 15 and 18,000 miles, so I will go with what BMW says. And that's fine. You know, if you're only planning on keeping your car for three or four years, then you, you do that, no problem at all. But if you're like me and you like to look after your car and you want it to last for as long as you it can possibly last for, then I would personally reduce that significantly. I'd recommend changing your oil between six to 8,000 miles. If you do lots of short journeys and not much motorway miles, then I would go for 6,000 miles. If you do do a bit of motorway, you can go for 8,000 miles and potentially stretch it to 10,000, but I wouldn't recommend that. I'd go between six and eight based on your driving style and your journey. So short journeys, go for the lower interval. If you do lots of motorway miles, go for the longer interval. So that's gonna be the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And what inspired me to do this video was one of you guys who commented in the video asking me um, how often I change my oil in the car. So there we go. And it's really nice when you do that because it helps me um, decide what videos I'm gonna do and feel free to ask me questions in the comments and I will try and do a video about it. I, I like that and um, I want to engage with you guys. So uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe. Leave us a nice comment down below and I will see you in the next video. Take care.